In this video, I'm going to be showing you one of the most versatile passing plays in Madden 23. It is the PA slot cross in the gun type formation. You can find this in the Detroit Lions or the Washington Commanders offensive playbooks. If you want to get my entire ebook on this formation, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. Gets you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. PA slot cross is valuable for a ton of reasons. And uh, in this video, we're going to show you how to run one of my personal favorite concepts. I do believe this is the best passing concept in Madden 23. And there's so, so much versatility within this play. So here's how we're going to run this. So PA slot cross. And what we're going to do here is we are going to create a slant post concept out of this play. Yesterday, we showed you how to create a flood concept with running this play to with your tight end to the short side of the field. The best way to do that is to fade the tight in we gave you a setup that looks something like this right here this is a great little flooding concept and it also just really gives you some some opportunities to attack both man coverage zone coverage super super high level play and in today's video we're going to show you another concept that i really like out of this play and that is the ability to run a slant post concept uh, the slant post concept has been the best concept of man 23 by far in my opinion, because it attacks man coverage very, very well. It attacks it attacks every coverage, but it attacks man coverage at a very, very, uh, very, very high rate. So um, what we're going to do to set this up is we do need some kind of clear out route for man to man or for zone. And the best way to do that is to just simply streak the left side receiver here. That's going to be Julian Edelman. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our tight end and we're going to put him on a post. And that is going to create that little slant post or that shallow cross concept. I call this a shallow cross concept. A shallow cross concept is essentially a little drag. Uh, and then it's a 10-yard a dig route. What we're doing is basically the same thing. It's just at a little bit of a different depth and can attack more coverages in Madden specifically. Now, this route to Michael Irvin, there's a lot of versatility in this. You could do a couple different things. It kind of honestly depends on what you want to do. Um, you can leave it like this right here. This is the simplest way to run it. If you do have Hot Route Master, you can uh, put him on a streak and motion him outside. You could also put him on a corner route, uh, which I think is actually not a bad idea either. I actually prefer probably the corner route over that little inverted thing specifically for this setup, um, but you don't have to do that. So what you're gonna see is against man coverage, this triangle receiver is super, super open. He is one of the best players at getting space um, against this. The reason I like the corner route is because it just clears everything quicker. Um, it, it helps kind of clear zones faster. Your post to your tight end, super open against man coverage over the middle. If you don't have high route master, you still want to run the same variation of this play, go ahead and just put him on a smart route at end. He's still going to cook man over the middle of the field, especially if you have the short and elite, and you still have that crossing concept uh, to Marquez Vadas scaling. So you still have um, a ton of things you can do. Another little thing that's kind of underrated that I think, especially if you want to utilize a drag route, um, is to put Mike Harvin on a curl. I do think this is fairly underrated this year. It's actually really good at just sitting in the middle of the field. If they're ever running something like a little double flat coverage, that's another variation of the same concept that you can certainly run. But like I said, if I have high route master, I love to put this guy on a corner um, because that corner route typically will beat man. You saw right there one of the things I did want to address, and that is what if they have inside shade and medium route knockout, which I have on that player. What you want to do is you want to highball it right when he cuts. I threw that just a tad early, but right when he cuts, you want to highball down and outside, in my opinion. And uh, what you should get here, let's see if I can get it right there. You just want to ag it, ag back to the ball, basically. You can highball these corners uh, super, super well against man. This other route that he's on is not quite as good for agging like that. But see how I can ag back to the ball. Again, Mike Haynes is playing out of his mind. And I'm probably not throwing it exactly perfectly. Um, because normally I don't need to. Normally I don't throw the corner route. Normally the routes I throw is I throw the tight end post or I throw the, the drag route. Almost always, these are the, the main routes on the play. The corner route is something that, again, if they're giving it to you, like that right there. Again, the KO is, is killing me. But um, anyway, you can mess with that if you want. 
Uh, clearly, I don't because I'm not. I'm terrible at throwing those. But the other thing you have in this is this right here. You can freeform that all the way to the sideline. A lot of times you get that animation right there where he kind of dumbs out to the sideline. It's very difficult for them to click on and make an interception. So you can do that if you want to. Um, but against man coverage, you just have a lot of different options. Uh, there you see, there's the egg. Finally got something going. Um, and I don't think I even did that right. But anyway, so that is the ag um, corner. But the main thing you're doing here, honestly, is you're mainly looking, your priority is can I throw this clear out streak? So, like, if they press you and press man, you can free form and high ball up and outside. A lot of times you can get that over the top if they are not playing some kind of cover to man uh, style of coverage, which most people aren't going to put safety help over top if they do press. But if they do put safety help over top, now what this does is it opens up the entire middle of the field. And again, they just can't choose. They're just going to have to choose. So am I going to guard the slant or am I going to guard the post? Okay, slant's open, throw the slant. That simple. It's that simple. Uh, but it's so high level. Such a good play. Um, now, talked about me and coverage for six minutes. So let's talk about zone. <laughs> um, zone coverage. This play is so good against zone, and the main reason why is because this uh, route to Edelman will clear out zone coverage for your post. So you can throw your post on the sideline over in here. Now, if you did your, if you if you calculated the distance there, what you're going to find is that this post is going to run about 25 yards down the field. So they have to do some kind of double Mabel. Most people are not going to want to leave the flats open against tight because you can destroy them in the flats this year uh, out of tight. If they run this, this is where this guy can actually be very valuable. Um, it depends a little bit on what you do here, but what you'll see is you can kind of get this to the sideline. And again, if they're more of a man centered team and they don't have a deep out zone knockout on that player, you're going to be able to destroy the cover two coverage. But if they do have deep out zone knockout, or if they're putting him in an outside third, that is something you have to also be kind of aware of in, in terms of how you're going to play that. Now, the beauty of this play, though, and what it can do is if you have just a simple corner out, he's going to pull the flat zones. He's going to pull both of them out. You can throw that right in that little pocket right there. So as they start to have to put zones in spots, once they have to start spot dropping zones, it gets very dangerous because there's no real... You, you could just run the routes at different depths, uh, which is one of my favorite things to do. So uh, what you'll do here is instead of running this, the, 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 um, the post, now we're going to run a smart routed dig. And I can throw that right before it gets to the cloud, as you can see right there. So there's so much versatility within the play. Um, if they're going to run hard flats and you're not going to have a pull route for the hard flat... So, like, let's say, you know, they're running the, the their zero-yard curl flats or they're running five-yard their, – their curl flats are on five, right, or something like that. What I like to do on this right side here is we are simply going to put him on a slant and actually run a true slant post. What you'll notice is this corner route will pull the cloud, and then you can throw – you see there we had that little window to throw that slant route. So – it's a again very simple concept, but very 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 effective uh, at attacking both man coverage and zone coverage. This also attacks match extremely well um, because they just can't guard everything in this play. They really can't. Um, you're going to see here they often are going to get out leveraged to that player right there. That guy is really your money route. He's the best route on the play. He's probably the best route in the game. My opinion, that is probably the best route in Madden this year is this little kind of like super sharp cutting crosser. And then you also have your tight end post, as you can see right there. So this play is super, super high level, super powerful play. Doesn't take a lot to run this play and to get it down to perfection. But this is one of the pinnacle passing concepts in Madden 23. And it also comes out of the play PA slot cross out of the gun tight. You can do it out of other plays, but I think it's best out of this play. If you want to get my entire gun tight offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link to sign up for the Patreon is going to be down in the description.